In this video, we will take a closer look at some of the VFX features that Filmora has to offer. I'll show you basically how it works. And just before we get started, why would you want VFX in the first place? And basically, let's imagine you would like to, I don't know, fire throw something or let something explode or whatever. Of course, you would not do that in real life. And you know, this is where VFX come into play. And inside of Filmora, there are some very cool presets. So let's get started. Before we start with this tutorial, click the link below this video to download Filmora. Pick whether you have a Windows or a Mac computer and then just click on the free download button. A free Filmora installer is downloaded automatically. Just unpack it, then it will do its thing and you are ready to get started. But now let's go back to the tutorial. All right, so inside of Filmora to get to the different VFX that they have to offer, just go over here to stickers and then you can see you have a bunch of different options. And I have actually prepared a couple of different VFX that I have just done very, very quickly. But basically here you have a bunch of different options. Let's say, like I was saying before, like, I don't know, blowing something up, like flaming hand. This sounds like they're, I don't know, blowing up something. The way and how it works, basically you just grab it and then put it down to the timeline. Then it's just downloading it quickly and let's see what that does. Yeah, it's basically like something is exploding, but this is basically how it works. You just search through the different stickers. These are different VFX, and then basically you just pick what you like, drag it into the timeline, and that's it. So that's how you work with them. So the first VFX that I have prepared for you looks like this. There is a boxer and he's like kicking through a glass or boxing through a glass. And basically the way and how this works is also super simple. I was just again here searching for this broken glass effect and here it is and then basically i just was dragging it down into the timeline and next thing i did is i imported this clip and there is basically like i said this boxer just boxing around and what i was doing the cut that i did here is this is basically um the position where he hits um the glass like in real life of course there is no glass but this is basically what i wanted to mark there and then again just put that over this you can see it's at the layer above and then you have this very cool effect. Let's play it back. Yeah, this is how it works. Super simple to do that. Um, as you can see, I was also changing the position a little bit because that by default, it's of course centered. So basically all I did is I just grabbed this upper layer here and then just put it over, you know, over the, the boxing glove so that it fits nice. Let's cut that to the same length. And then we have this right here. It looks very cool, super simple to do this. And yeah, this is the first VFX that I have created for you guys. The next thing is not like a special VFX, but in case you are just making some product videos or corporate videos or whatever, just adding these kinds of doodles and things, it's just a very easy way to just make your video look a bit more interesting or in case you wanna, I don't know, draw the attention of the viewer to some specific thing, you can just, you know, this is just something that I picked here, you can basically just, you know, use things like this and this is just super helpful, super easy, super fast to make a boring video just look more interesting. There are, of course, also a bunch of different arrows that you can use. There are many presets when it comes to, you know, follow me and subscribe and all of these things. So for social media, this is definitely very, very helpful. But I would not truly consider this being VFX, to be honest. And then last but not least, I've prepared this clip for you guys. Let's play it back. And then she's basically fire breathing. And I think that looks pretty cool. It's not like super realistic, but I think for an effect like this, it looks pretty cool. And basically, again, um, let's show you how this works. Um, first up, I was just searching again here through all of the different presets. And then I found this fire breathe. I was searching through the different presets and then I found this fire breathe and then I just dragged it down to the timeline. And again, then I was searching here for the position of the original clip where she actually starts you know, like blowing. And then I matched these up. If we play it back, of course, it's not matching. But again, as we did before, just tap on the clip and then basically you can just change the position here to the right, to the left, or you can also just select the clip down here and then drag it to the position where you like it. And the goal is to, you know, match like the thing she's holding in her hand to um, the effect. And as you can see, the camera is moving around, so it's not matching all the time, but you can also use keyframes to match that. So basically again, just select the clip down here, 
match that and then at the position scale right here you see we are in video basic and then here at the position just tap on this icon right here this is a keyframe and then basically we can just go through the video and set different keyframes and the you know the more precise you do this the the smaller the distances here are the better the final result will be but just for the sake of this video i'm doing this pretty rough do a couple more keyframes here at the beginning it's also super simple um, to do this and also super convenient that it automatically sets the keyframe so you don't have to click any button or anything and then if we play it back you can see it's looking pretty nice it's a bit bumpy because the keyframes are so far um, distant from each other but overall super easy to do that and yeah very easy to create a nice effect like this so there you have it just a very quick overview over some of the vfx features that filmora has to offer like i said super simple super fast to do it and overall just play around see what different options what different presets they have you can also download even more than they already have inside of the program so there are basically no limits if you have any more questions make sure to let me know and i'll talk to you in the next one